Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we're going to write our music service connection. So basically the class that takes care of, or that is basically that sits between our activity or our fragment and our service. So the communicator that um, exchanges information from our activity to our service and the other way around, or rather just from our service to our activity. And yeah, that's what we are going to write here. I want to do this in our root package, of course, in this exoplayer package. So inside, inside of this package here, we right click, create a new Kotlin file class called music service connection. And that will be a class. And in this class, we will now make use of these classes we created in the last video. So that resource class for error handling and that event class that just prevents that some specific events are fired off multiple times or that we observe on them multiple times later on. So first of all, in our music service connection, this class will need a constructor, which will just take the context. So context, which is of type context, of course, and it won't inherit from anything. And first of all, what we will do here is we will implement a bunch of live data objects because those will be the objects that contain the information from our service. And on those, we will simply observe on later on in our fragments to get these information and to get um, updates if data in our service changes. First of all, that will be a private val underscore is connected. So that will be just a live data that contains the current state if this connection here between our activity and our music service is currently active. And usually when we implement live data in view model or somewhere else in this service connection here, for example, then we make the actual mutable live data a private val so that we can only change the value of that live data object from within this music service connection class. And then we will have a public variable, which is an immutable live data, which we will expose to other classes so that we can observe on changes in other classes, but that we can't change the value of this is connected live data from other classes. That is basically the best practice to do that. Um, we will set that to immutable live data of type event. So here our event class comes into play um, of, of type event of type resource, also a resource class and of type Boolean. So whether it is connected or not. And then we will have just a val. So that will be the live data we will observe on from the outside that we just name is connected without an underscore. And here we explicitly need to define the types so that this is an immutable live data, not a mutable live data, also of type event, of type resource, of type Boolean. And then we're going to set that equal to underscore is connected. And then we can take those two lines, copy them and paste them three more times because we will have four different live data objects here in total this will be a live data underscore network error. So whether there is a network error or not, also of type event resource boolean. And this will also be called a network error without an underscore. And this of course, underscore network error as well. Then we will have a live data for the current playback state. So whether the, the player is currently playing or not, or is paused or whatever. Um, so underscore playback state, which will just be a mutable live data of type playback state. Um, we don't need that event resource here. Um, just playback state um, compat actually, and that is nullable. And then this will be playback state without an underscore. And then we can simply replace that as well. And of course, this type here as well. So also live data of type playback state compat and nullable. Okay, and for the last live data, that will be underscore currently playing song. So that will just be a media metadata compat object that contains meta information about the song that is currently playing. So that will be a mutable live data of type media metadata compat. 
and this will be called currently playing song as well without an underscore we change the type here as well to media metadata combat and we change this to currently playing song okay next i first want to make a little space here and a little more next we want to declare a late in advar media controller so uh, that will basically just be an object that we can use on the one hand to get access to transport controls that is used to for example um, pause the song play the song um, skip to the next song and stuff like that and just to register some callbacks that are useful for us here so that will be off type media metadata compat and then we can get a reference to these transport controls here i talked about so val transport controls um which is equal to or actually we want to override uh, the getter here so in the getter we want to set that to media controller dot transport oh that is a media metadata compat here of course that should be a media controller compat sorry so then we can write media controller dot transport controls so why do we write that getter here and why don't we just write it like this and the reason is that we cannot yet instantiate this media controller object here because we need access to the session token of our service and we only have access to that in a callback that we will define here in this service connection and if we would do it like this then it would immediately try to set this transport transport controls here to media control other transport controls and because these transport controls aren't created yet because that is a late in advar um this would crash so we specify that as a getter instead and that will only return uh, these controls when we actually access that transport controls object and you can also see we get a little warning here if we hold on to this um or like this um here it wants to specify uh, the type explicitly let's just do this so the warning goes away just by specifying that this is not a nullable type here okay next i want to implement that callback i talked about that will be a private inner class media controller callback and that will inherit from media controller compat dot callback can open parentheses here or curly brackets um also call the constructor here and in here we want to override some functions on the one hand that is on playback state changed so whenever our playback state changes this function will be called and in here we can just use our playback state live data up here to post the new state so we can remove that super here just write underscore playback state dot post value and we post the new playback state so we can observe on that from our fragments and then we will also override um on metadata change so whenever our currently song metadata changes then we want to post a new value to this currently playing song live data so you can see we get the new metadata here and that is actually nullable I also want this to be nullable then. So let's just add a question mark here. In that case, we just also want to remove that super and just use our current playing song, live data, and post the value metadata. And that's already it here. Uh, then I will override a function called on session event. So that is used to kind of send custom events from our service to this um, connection callback. And we will use that to um, be notified when there is a network error. So we will just have a when expression here. So depending on that event we get, if that is um, network underscore error, which is a constant um, we haven't created yet. I want to create my own constant here. Don't import that one instead go to other constants and here just create a const val network underscore error 
um, and set that to network error. Then back in our music service connection, we can now import that from our constants here. And in that case, so if we send such a session event here, we just want to use our network error live data and post a value of event um, of type resource dot error. So we just post an error resource here if we catch this network error. And as a message, we pass couldn't connect to the server. Please check your your internet connection. And as data, we pass null simply. And now you might ask, when do we actually send that network error here so we can catch it? We will do that in our music service. So let's open that. Scroll down to um, onload children here, actually. And here in this else block, when we send a null result, then that means we caught a network error. So what we will write here is simply, we will use our media session and call dot send session event. And we simply send our network error constant here. We could also, oops, we could also pass some extras. We don't have them. So we simply pass null for them. And that's already it. Now we can go back to our music service connection. Okay, that's it for now for this media controller callback. We want to implement another callback here, which is a callback for this media browser. Um, we actually haven't created that yet, but we will create a media browser. And for that, we will also have a callback here. So private inner class media browser connection callback will, will that be called that will take um, a private val context as a parameter. We'll just need the context. And that will inherit from media browser dot connection callback here. And also don't forget to call the constructor here. And in here, we will also override some functions. On the one hand, that will be on connected. So once this music service connection here is active, this will be called. And in here, we can now create an instance of this media controller. Because for that, we need that session token I talked about. And once this is connected here, we have access to that. So instead of this super unconnected, we will instead use our media controller, set that to new media controller compat, um, not get media controller, just media controller compat, and that will require the context and our session token. And we actually don't have access to that token yet because we need to create this um, media browser instance here first. For that, we need this callback. So I'll just comment that line for now and we will add that later in this video. Um, what we also want to do in unconnected is we will just post this connection status to our is connected live data. So is connected dot post value event of type resource dot success. Um, and we pass true for the data, obviously. And then we will also override on connection suspended. In here, we will also use our is connected live data post the value event resource dot error, because the connection was suspended, obviously. Um, for the message, we pass the connection was suspended. And for the data, we simply pass false, obviously. Um, and finally, one last function here to override, which will be on connection failed, in which we also use is connected the post value event of type resource resource that error. And as a message, we choose um, couldn't connect to media browser. And we also pass false for the data. And now we can use this callback here to create an instance of that. Because 
we need an instance of that to create this media browser instance um, I talked about. And let's do that right here. Um, private val media browser connection callback. And that will be equal to a new media browser connection callback. And we pass the context as a constructor parameter here. And now that we have that instance, um, I first want to, before you forget it, um, scroll down to media controller callback and overwrite one more function, which is on session destroyed. Because in that case, we simply want to use that media browser connection callback and call on connection suspended. So just that we can handle that if our session is destroyed, that this function here will just be called and we post an error status to our is connected live data. Then we can now create that media browser I talked about, which will be mainly used to get an ex get access to that session token and to subscribe and unsubscribe to our service. So to our um, actual media ID. So if you remember, in the music service, we have this onload children function here. And when we subscribe to this music service to get to get access to media items, then we need to subscribe to a specific ID that is this parent ID. And we only have that media root ID. But in a more complex app, you could have several of these IDs for playlists for albums and all that stuff. And with this media browser, we can just subscribe to this ID to get the media items we want. So what we will do is in our media, uh, in our music service connection, we will create a private val media browser, which is equal to new media browser compat actually. And that takes some parameters now. First of all, the context that is easy, then a service component, which is of type component name. Well, that is in the end, just a combination of the context and the type of service we use. So we can just create a component name object here, which will take the context again. And it will take the class of our service. So music service double colon class to Java. Then as a third parameter, it will take this callback we created. So media browser connection callback. And as root hints, so we could also attach a bundle here, we will simply pass null. And we get an error here. Um, required connection callback, but got okay. Okay, I think yeah, we just inherited from the wrong type here. Not media browser, just media browser compat. Yes, and then the error is gone. Okay, so now that we have access to this media browser here, we can also create this media controller. So we uncomment that again. And here for the session token, we will use media browser dot session token. And then we can call dot apply on that because we want to register a callback, which is this media controller callback we created down here. So we simply create a new instance of that media controller callback. And that is already it. Now we are only missing two more functions, one function to subscribe to a specific media ID and one function to unsubscribe from uh, that media ID. So let's create these right here. Function subscribe, uh, that will take a parent ID, which is of type string. And it will take a callback, which is of type um, nothing here, which is of type media browser compat dot subscription callback, so that we can just react to um, when the subscription is finished. Um, and in here, we will just use media browser dot subscribe. And we pass exactly these parameters. So parent ID and callback. And then we will have the same function for unsubscribe. So copy that unsubscribe, unsub 
subscribe and of course swap that out, out as well with unsubscribe and only one more thing I forgot is we need to call that apply here on this media browser because we also want to call the function that it actually connects so that this callback function is also triggered and that is just very easy we just call connect here and that is it so as a quick little recap in the end what we did here is just we created a class that sits between our activity and our service to um, serve as an interface as a com as a tool to communicate and in here we have various media browser stuff or media controller just to kind of get information about our service and we have three unused variables and functions here transport controls which are used to um, skip songs to skip to the previous song to pause the player to um, resume the player and stuff like that and then we have subscribe and unsubscribe which will also call from our view model later on um, just to start the subscription to a specific media ID to get access to our uh, media items from Firebase and yes also to unsubscribe to that media ID of course again and yeah, just some callbacks to listen to these events when the connection happened and when it failed when it was suspended when um, the session was destroyed and when the the important data of our service changes so the playback state when it changes if it's for example if if the user pauses it then this function will be called when the player resumes it this function will be called when um, the player skips to the next song then this function will also be called with the new metadata information about the new song so we can display that in our song fragment later on and all that cool stuff i hope you understood everything well if so please comment below and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i wish you a very nice day and hopefully we see us in the next video again bye bye